Hello everyone, I am Tanu Jun and I welcome you all back to the question discussion series of TIPS Academy. Today, we are going to discuss the question of GATE 2022 Mathematics Examination. This is a question from Linear Algebra and this question is from the section of Eigenvalues and Eigenvectors. So, let's start with the question. The question number is 53. In this question, we have a 3 cross 2 matrix given two vectors a two cross one vector and a three cross one vector is given and some conditions on these vectors that is norm of this vector is one that is u1 square plus u2 square equals to one and v1 square plus v2 square plus v3 square equals to one also it is given that a of u is equals to root two of v now a is a three cross two matrix so, A is 1, 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 1. And A transpose is a 2 cross 3 matrix. This is what? 1, 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 1. So, now we have given that A into u gives us root 2 times v that is a of u is equals to root 2 times v vector a u is equals to root 2 v u and v are not same if i apply a transpose here this is the only trick we are going to use in this question rest the question is just calculation based since we know a is not a square matrix and A transpose is also not a square matrix. And we can talk about eigenvalues and eigenvectors in case of square matrices only. But since A, A transpose and A transpose A are square matrices here, one is of order 2 cross 2 and one is of order 3 cross 3. We have given this. What if I apply A transpose over these two? I will get A transpose A u is equals to A transpose root 2 v which is nothing since root 2 is a scalar I can take it outside. So this will be root 2 into A transpose v. Now A transpose v as given in the question is root 2 times u vector. So I do have a transpose A of U is equals to root 2 into root 2 times vector U. This is 2U. A transpose A U equals to 2U. This, what can we say about this? We can say that 2 is an eigenvalue of the matrix A transpose A. Since U is a non-zero vector, what do we compute here? A transpose A is what? Let's come to the next page. A transpose A is equals to 1, 0, minus 1, 1, 1, 1. This is the same matrix, I think. Yes. And A is... 1, 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 1. So, A transpose A gives us, this is a 2 cross 3 matrix, this is a 3 cross 2 matrix, gives us 2 cross 2 matrix, which is what? 1 into 1, this is the resultant matrix. And A transpose A into U is equals to 2 of U, where U is a column vector u1 and u2 so using this we will compute it so 2 0 0 3 into vector u which is u1 u2 gives us what 2 times u1 2 times u2 we have to compare these two matrices so these two must have same values at corresponding positions. This implies what? 2u1, 3u2 is equals to 
2u1 and 2u2. The first entry is not important to us since 2u1 equals to 2u1 which doesn't imply to any condition here. But the second one gives us 3u2 is equals to 2u2 which implies u2 equals to 0. So now u2 is known to us and also u1 square plus u2 square is equals to 1 u2 0 as we have find out this implies what u1 square is equals to 1 which implies u1 can take any value plus or minus 1 so we have value of possible values of u1 and exact value of u2 next we need to work on v it is given that a transpose v is equals to root 2 times u vector now i will try to apply matrix a here so a into a transpose v gives us root 2 a transpose u uh, sorry a u right a a transpose of v gives us as given in the question a of u is equals to root 2 times vector v so using that here we have root 2 into root 2 v which is 2 v here we can say that 2 is an eigenvalue of a a transpose also a a transpose v is equals to 2 v and we need to find out the value of a a transpose a and a transpose 1 0 minus 1 1 1 1 and it's 1 1 0 1 minus 1 1 after computing we will get here the resultant matrix will come out to be a 3 cross 3 matrix and this will give us 2 1 0 1 1 1 and minus 1 plus 1 0 1 and 2 so a a transpose is this and a a transpose of v is 2 of v so applying this 2 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 2 over vector v v1 v2 v3 gives us twice of vector v 2 v1 2 v2 and 2 v3 right we will solve this and we will get some values of v1 v2 v3 here we have 2 v1 plus v2 is equals to 2 v1 after comparing both sides we have three equations here first is this second is v1 plus v2 plus v3 is equals to 2v2 and third is v2 plus 2v3 equals to 2v3 third equation gives us this implies this equation implies v2 is equals to 0 vector using this 1 2 and 3 naming the equations is easy it doesn't create any confusion right so using 3 we have v2 equals to 0 substituting this in 1 doesn't affect anything it won't give us anything so using this in 2 will give us what v1 plus v3 equals to 2 v2 which is 0 so v1 is equals to minus of v3 already one thing is also given to us that is v1 square plus v2 square plus v3 square is equals to 1 v2 is 0 v1 is equals to minus of v3 so substituting this we will get 2 of v1 square is equals to 1 which implies v1 equals to plus minus 1 by root 2 and in the question we have asked to find 
the value of this term. So we just need u1 and v1. We have u1 to be plus minus 1, v1 to be plus minus 1 by root 2. Now, what do we have possible pairs here are we can take u1 1 v1 1 by root 2 we can take u1 minus 1 v1 minus 1 by root 2 we can take u1 to be 1 v1 to be minus 1 by root 2 and u1 to be minus 1 and v1 to be 1 by root 2. We need to find out the value of u1 plus u1 plus 2 root 2 v1. root 2 v1 this value we have possible pairs of uis and vis we will try to calculate values using this this will give us 1 plus 2 3 this will give us minus 1 minus 2 3 this will give us 1 minus 2 1 and this will give us minus 1 plus 2 which is 1. We missed some condition here so we have two different values. We need to find out one more thing here. We have given that a of u is equals to root 2 times v. Let us use this condition and try to find out some more constraints. So this will give us 1, 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 1, u1, u2 is equals to root 2, v1, root 2, v2, root 2, v3, fine, and this gives us what, u1 plus u2 is equals to root 2 v1 since we need to find out some relation between u1 and v1 only because we need their values only and u2 is 0 as we have done so this implies u1 equals to root 2 times v1 so this so we do have one more constraint here and applying this we can see that we cannot take this value and we cannot take this value this doesn't satisfy this equation so we can take only first two values these two are the required values and corresponding to these values the value of this expression is 3 so 3 is our required answer There was only one trick here that we applied a over a transpose v and a transpose over a u. Other than that, we have to just do mere calculations only. Thank you so much for watching the video. For any queries, you can comment in the comment section. Thank you.